Guys, subscribe and turn notifications on, leave a like and drop a comment down below. Get here first and win giveaway calls. I will pin as first comment on some of my videos. Be fast and good luck. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel and I appreciate you being here. Today I bring you another Destiny 2 video and today I'm going to show you this epic strat of how you can kill the prime evil in Gambit in literally two or three seconds it really is that fast but before we go any further guys if you do enjoy the video and would like to show your support to me and the channel you can by hitting that like button if you are new around here and enjoy daily destiny 2 videos be sure to subscribe okay so this isn't going to help you bank mods this isn't going to help you take out invaders or invade and this certainly won't help you unless you are in a fire team of four this strat is for the people out there looking to farm Gambit for whatever reason there is to farm it. Some of the weapons are great for sure, the Malfeasance Fanny Face Boss. Whatever you need in Gambit, whatever you need to farm for, this strat 100% will help you like nothing else. Now the reason I say this strat takes a team is because you need to work together, not just for your callouts and so forth, but all setting up the right classes and there are two important classes and subclasses to use here. Firstly, you need one person to play on Titan using hammers. Top skill tree, so you have that hammer strike. The other three players in your fire team need to be using the Hunter's new knife barrage super. To be honest, it amazes me I haven't seen anybody else cover this or even speak about it, but no doubt Lords will come out from the woodwork after watching this video claiming they've been using this for ages. It is what it is, it doesn't matter to me either way. I wouldn't be surprised if people have been using this for a while. I mean, it makes sense, it works, it's amazing people. Now the thing about this also is the fact are we as a team making stupid mistakes like losing mortes by falling down holes, dying to them cabal pig face dog rat thingy bobs, letting scrubby kids like me invade and kill with the sleeper simulant and so forth. These mistakes happen and when they do, most people like we would before discovering this would just give up on that round. But this strat kills the boss so quick you won't ever have to give up people no matter how far behind you are. Some of the gameplay you will be seeing on screen now will include some great combats and just the boss being melted. Now what's crazy about this is, it instantly kills the boss even with no multiplayer on the Prime Evil Slayer. But once you do get a few times on it, it's even crazier people. Like a Prime Evil Slayer times 5, it's just ridiculous. So how it's done is pretty simple. When you spawn in your Prime Evil, kill the wizard as soon as possible. Heavy weapons like the sleeper are key. As soon as they are dead, get the Titan to Thunder Strike the Prime Evil boss and the other three hunters all use their Blade Barrage. And witness scenes reminiscent of Galahorn, Valister Arc and Solar Burn, Destiny 1 days. The boss just melts, look at the health bar just disappear. Prime Evil's dead. Your team's looking strong. Now we played so many games doing this, destroying everyone in our path. The one thing I'd say is though, sometimes the knife barrage can escape to other enemies, and sometimes this leaves the boss with a speck of health. A shotgun or anything else with high DPS will finish him off instantly. I'm evil compromised. Focus your fire. Invaders here, brace yourself. Portal's ready. Grab your. But gun. yeah, guys, this strat really does work wonders. But remember, it won't help you win if you can't work together and get a good strat down for banking mods and invading. A few quick tips: don't invade as soon as the enemy pulls out their prime evil. I see this so much. We get invaded as soon as we pull out the prime evil, and in reality, there isn't much one can achieve while the prime evil is still at full health. For sure, you can knock us off course. I mean, delay us a little bit. But normally this consists of whoever invading us, wasting heavy and their super, which to me is just a waste of time, but that's fine, bring it on. Another thing also, there should always be someone on your team looking for blockers and taking them out as soon as they spawn in. I mean it's all good and dandy, everybody rushing to grab mods and banking mods as soon as possible, stealing from one another, 
but then you are stranded most of the time with a couple of your teammates missing a blocker by a few mots meaning the enemy already has the advantage. Everyone rushing for mots not being aware of blockers can mean serious trouble. You know how many times I've had 15 mots on to turn to back them and seen about 5 blockers? It can be annoying and to be honest it gets real boring. So if one person's always aware of blockers and is there to take them out as soon as they spawn in, it really does help. As soon as rounds start, have two people collecting mots while the full team goes for kills. The first two grab what they can while the remaining pick up the leftovers. Do the same with the second lot of enemies and so forth. Even after the first group of enemies have spawned in and you find yourself with 4 mots or 9 mots or 14 mots, unless the enemy team is really behind, bank those mots. A lot of the time when you are a few behind or a few off target of enemies, waiting around for other targets to get mods from, this can be seriously risky for sure. As you know invaders come every 25 banked mods. I'd rather bank 4 than lose 4, I'd rather bank 9 and get a small blocker than lose 9, see what I mean? And all mods count towards that prime which is the end goal. To be honest I could go on forever with tips for Gambit, but I'm guessing you guys know what's going down. If that is the case, add this boss killing strat to your game. If you need to farm Gambit, use this boss killing strat, it won't let you down, trust me. One titan, three hunters, and that is all you need people. And on that note guys, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. And if you are new around here and enjoy daily Destiny videos, like guides, top fives, gameplays, reviews, and everything else, make sure you subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, turn on notifications by hitting that bell button. But thanks again for stopping by, and hopefully I will see you on that next one.